Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Back today with another video, doing some resin art for you today. So I have started doing these new little um, beachy resin frames um, and they've been selling like crazy over at the store. So I figured I'd show you how I've been making them. So I have two different frames here. I have these little baby mini frames. I, all the, I got these all at Michael's. This is a three by three inch and it has a glass insert. And I just took out the glass and that's what I'm gonna be pouring on. When it's finished, I put it back in the frame and you got this little piece of artwork. These are such cute little frames and you can stand it up. You know, great for like a bathroom or a, a small bedroom or just, just, just really cute. So I have that size and then I have the five by seven, which is five by seven frame and four by six insert. And that's these right here. So. Um, these again I got at Michaels I will put all the links down below to all the things that I have for here I'm gonna be using some different mica powders and some resin art pigments if you want to try the resin art pigments by color art they're awesome pigments they're so sparkly and shiny and they're just amazing pigments um, I have a coupon code I'll put it right down below there you can save yourself 20% off the entire website and it's not just the resin art pigments, it's the primary elements, it's the prism pores. I might actually even use some prism pores in here today, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go through, I'll do two of them for you. I'll do the small one and the large one. But as you can see down here, I got lots to do today, <laughs> all right? So, all right, so let's get started. I hope everybody's doing well out there. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to first um, show, I'm going to mix up my resin. I'm using KS resin today, forgot to tell you that. I always, I pretty much always use KS resin um, unless I'm doing um, something that I want to be really heat resistant. I'll use, and I think actually KS resin has a um, countertop resin. I don't think I've tried that, but I usually use stone coat countertop if I'm doing like a tabletop or something like that. Okay. So let's get started. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful. And now I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise Okay, so you saw me mix up the resin. I just separated it into three little cups. One is gonna be for my white and then two for my different colors. Um, I'm just gonna use the blues for right now. So what I'm gonna be using is, uh, where am I? I'm gonna use some Prism Pour and this is Blue Velvet. So I'm gonna be using that one. I'm going to be using, uh, yeah, let me do this one. This one. I'll use the Sea Foam by um, Resin Art Pigment. And these are really, really pretty. I've used this quite often. So I'm going to use those two colors for these two and probably for a couple down there. But And then that's going to be my white. And my white is a Luma Light white paste with a couple drops of alcohol ink. All right. So you don't really need, uh, I already did that. <laughs> you don't really need all that much to do these. So let's go ahead and... Put in some two nice healthy, yeah, should be good. Let's see. You can always add more. Rule of thumb with paint in uh, resin is you only want to use about 10%. You can get away with a little bit more with the pigments. That's pretty. I'm going to add just a little bit more to make it a little bit sparkly. So that's the one. 
And then let's try the prism pour. And this you just want to put about 10%. Ooh, I might have been too much, but we'll see. It should be all right. I can always add a little bit more resin to it if I need to. That's a pretty blue. Okay. All right. And then the white pigment to some couple squirts of alcohol ink, white alcohol ink. Okay, so the other thing that you need to get ready for these, just so you're ready to go, a little cup, I'm gonna put some sand. Okay. And diamond dust. If you guys have not used this, you need to get it. It just makes everything sparkly. So about, I don't know. And I just mix those two together. So we're ready to go. Now there's no resin in here, it's just sand and the crystals. So we're ready to go when we put our little beach on. All right, so first things first. I always like to do my dark, then my light. That's just me. So I'm gonna put, just put some down. Of the, what one was this? Blue velvet. Put some down there, you don't need a lot. And then I'm going to put down the sea foam resin art pigment. There's my cat again trying to get in. She loves to try to get in my art room. All right, so we have that. All right, and then I'm just going to take my torch and just heat it up ever so a little bit. Okay. And then you can take a stick, you can take your hand, do whatever you want, um, and just move it to the corners. I usually use my hand, but I'm trying to be neat. <laughs> down a little bit all right so we got that and now I'm just going to take a blow dryer and just move it around just a little bit I'm going to do it well So now I'm going to take some clear, okay, and just dribble it right in about here. Just need a little bit. I should just put this in a cup. It'd be easier and less messy. And then I'm going to take the white and put it right at the edge of that clear where it stopped. Okay, and you can put a little bit more up here if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I will for you. And then we're going to heat it up with a hot air gun and a torch. So I'm going to torch it. And then I'm going to blow it. up this little bubbles. Okay. And that's it. 
just make sure you got your corner like the frame is you know comes out a little bit so if you miss a little spot it's not that big of a deal all right so this one's starting to go a little too far down probably because it's crooked so i just take some of this white off that's fine all right so now on the bottom and i am going to put my resin my clear in a little cup just make it easier for me Okay, and now on the bottom, you're just going to take the clear and cover the bottom portion of the glass. Okay, and this is where your sand is going to go. And shells and all that good stuff. I put crystals and shells and all kinds of stuff. Up. Pop the air bubbles. Doesn't that look cute so far? All right, so now you got your sand in your cup that you mixed up, and you're just going to pinch it and throw some down right in the clear. much as you want the more the better I like to cover it you have a little bit of the glass showing through which is kind of a pretty effect anyway but all right all right so now we need to add some shells and some glass and whatever else you have on hand I'm going to add some shells maybe a starfish we'll see so all this stuff I've gotten had for a long time. So I'll put some of the links down below if I can find them. So I'm just gonna put some sea glass. This is just like a turquoise sea glass, crushed glass. Okay, put a little bit on here on the baby. And then I have these um, seashells, panda hall. I'm gonna take my glove off for this so I can get in there. And you just wanna lay a couple shells down. Make sure you leave enough room on the sides for the frame. You don't want that to interfere with the frame. Oh, that one went rolling away. Oh gosh. Real, real, we're having real things here. Just being real. All right. Put a couple shells in here. We don't need that many because it's a little baby. All right. What's next? I have a couple of these and this is just like colored shell, like broken up pieces. Put some of that in, that'll be pretty. great with these is they're really easy to make and quack quick quack hello uh, fast um, tomorrow they'll be ready to go and I can put them in the frames all right so I like this it looks good I might put a little bit more because it kind of went transparent here look it's falling off my Is like pretty much it uh, if you, you need to you can add some more sand because it will sink into the resin so I always like to go back in and just hit it lightly well let's put a starfish on one or a bigger shell on one let's put a bigger shell on the big one I like to do that let me see what I have some shells let's 
do that. Let's put that one right there. Maybe a little bit. No, I don't want that one on there. How about a starfish? Oh, these are little. These are real little starfish. Look how cute they are. Let's put a starfish in here somewhere. Do it there. Perfect. Look how cute they are. Can you see that? Let's see if I can lift it up for you. Isn't that cute? All right. I'll show you at the end in the little frames. All right, guys. Thanks.